How to read timetables. Being able to read a timetable is a very important life skill. All timetables look a little different, but once you're able to recognize some common features, you'll be able to use them with little trouble. In this video, we'll look at two different timetables. We'll start with this bus timetable. We can see that the timetable shows the times for four buses. On the left hand side are the stops the buses will make. It tells us its first stop, Clayton Street, and all the stops it will make along its way to its final destination, White Beach. Let's take a look at the stops on this map. The bus will start here, at Clayton Street. Its next stop, Brookfield Road, then the hospital, Green Park, Newtown Shopping Centre, and finally White Beach. Back to our timetable. A time is listed for each of the stops and buses. For example, we can see that bus 1 leaves its first stop, Clayton Street, at 7.40am. It then arrives at Brookfield Road at 7.53am. We can see that bus 3 will arrive at the hospital at 8.40am. Bus 4 reaches White Beach at 9.25am. In this way, we can see the time at which buses will arrive at each of the stops. We can use this information in a few ways. Let's say I want to get to Green Park and Clayton Street is the closest stop to my home. The timetable shows that I have four options. One bus leaves Clayton Street at 7.40, another leaves at 7.55, another at 8.10, and another at 8.25. This information tells me what time I must be at the stop to catch my bus. I can also look to see what time I will arrive at Green Park. Sometimes we might need to work in reverse. Let's say I'm at Green Park and I need to meet my friend at White Beach at 9am. Let's look back at our timetable. Here are the times the different buses get into White Beach. Buses 3 and 4 get in after 9am, so they won't work for me. Bus 2 looks good. It gets into White Beach at 8.54am. Now I can use the timetable to work out what time bus 2 leaves Green Park. It will leave Green Park at 8.27am. We can also use a timetable to work out how long it is between stops. Let's work out how long the trip from Green Park to White Beach takes. We just need to work out how much time has elapsed between 8.27am and 8.54am. The trip must take 27 minutes. You might have noticed that a few times on this timetable are missing. This means that the bus skips that particular stop. For example, bus 2 will go straight from Clayton Street to the hospital, without stopping at Brookfield Road. Bus 4 starts at Clayton Street and skips both the Brookfield Road and the hospital stops. Quieter stops are sometimes skipped like this as it makes the overall journey faster. See if you can answer the following questions using this timetable. Number 1. How long is the trip from Clayton Street to Brookfield Road? Question 2. I'm meeting my friend at White Beach. I'm taking bus 2. My friend is taking bus 3. How long will I have to wait for my friend to arrive? Question 3. I need to get from Brookfield Road to the shopping centre before 9am. Which bus must I take? Pause here while you work. Let's check the answers. Question 1. The difference in time between Clayton Street and Brookfield Road is 13 minutes. Question 2. If I take bus 2, I arrive at White Beach at 8.54am. If my friend catches bus 3, they will arrive at 9.14am. This means I will have to wait 20 minutes. Question 3. Buses 1 and 2 get into the shopping centre before 9 o'clock. However, bus 2 doesn't stop at Brookfield Road, so the answer is bus 1. Now let's look at a new timetable. It might look a little bit more confusing, but it works in the same way as the previous timetable. 
The title shows this train timetable is for trains running from Montville to Clapham. And here we can see all the stops the train will make on its way from Montville to Clapham. Just like the previous timetable, this shows the times the train stops at each of the stations. There are a few differences between this timetable and the previous bus timetable. Firstly, you can see that the times are shown in 24 hour time. The timetable is also split in two. One is for services in the morning and the other is for services in the afternoon. And did you also notice this? This timetable is only applicable on weekdays. If you wanted to catch the train on the weekend, you would need to use the timetable specific to Saturday or Sunday. This is usually because fewer trains run on the weekend as it's not so busy. The bus timetable showed bus 1, 2, 3 and 4. This timetable doesn't have those titles, but we can still see that this is the first train of the day, the second train, the third and so forth. Even though this timetable is a little more complicated, we still use it in the same way. Let's have a go together. Let's say I need to get from Burley to Newark, and I want to get there at about 8 o'clock in the morning. I'll use this section because it's the morning services. Here are the times trains leave Burley. Here are the times the trains arrive in Newark. This one looks good. It arrives at 7.50 a.m. I know I need to be at the Burley station by 7.16 a.m. Have a go at answering the following questions about this train timetable. Question 1. What is the earliest time you can get to Clapham by train? Question 2. Tim catches the 1502 train from Montville. He is travelling to Dover Street. How many stops will he make along the way? Question 3. Lisa lives at Burley and has a meeting at Woodford at 7.30 in the morning. What time should she be at the Burley station by? Pause here while you work. Let's see how you went. Question 1. The earliest a train will arrive in Clapham is 6.45am. Question 2. Here is the 1502 train from Montville. Here is Tim's stop at Dover Street we can see that it will make four stops along the way. The train won't stop at Charlie Street. Number three. If Lisa needs to arrive at Woodford before 7.30 a.m., these two trains will arrive too late. This train will arrive before 7.30. Because she is catching it from Burley, she will need to be there by 6.46 a.m. The more you practice using timetables, the more confident you'll be. EasyTeaching.net 